2A and uh, Champignac Catholic looking to get back to the state championships for the fourth year in a row. Hector Claveo, the head coach. Coach, uh, certainly uh, this is a time of year you guys look forward to. For the last three years, you've been in the mix. And this year, again, you played that tough schedule. The message I send to the kids, you know, I'm not big on um, regular season championships, going undefeated, or, or I think it's about testing the kids and preparing the kids for this time, you know, practicing in Thanksgiving. That's what champions do is practice in Thanksgiving. You know, if you play a, a weak schedule, when you get here and get hit in the mouth, you don't know how to reply. That's something that we got to continue to do, and, and I advise anybody that wants to be here to, to do the same. Uh, you had an opportunity this year to, to play some really good football teams. So a lot of people down here won't play anyway. So, you know, what the heck, go on the road. To go up to Tennessee, we flew to Tennessee, spent two nights in a hotel, you know, with the kids, and, and we mix up the rooms where it's not like all seniors together, or yeah. all junior, like we, I, I do a good job of handpicking who's with who, so that way you get some different guys, you know, bonding and getting to know each other. The school's also so small. The kids know each other. Sure. The kids not like a, they're not very clicky. It's pretty much a family. Same thing with with Georgia. You know, two nights up there in a completely different place, and we were able to take the kids to Tennessee and Valdosta, Georgia. They were able to see a college in each place, eat food they've never eaten, see mountains that they've never seen. We took them to some amazing places, like things like that that maybe some kids may never be able to see. Right. So I think that's part of the value that um, that we bring to the table when it comes to those out of town games. Not only football, you know, those kids are going to talk about that for the rest of their lives. You know what I mean? For sure. But this is a coaching staff that really is the fiber of this team. They teach, they mentor. It's it's no secret. The negatives that we that we have is, you know, it's just such a small school, the lack of facilities, you know, not having a field on campus, a division one weight room per se, you know what I mean? But I think that's what makes us what we are. Everything that we do, we have to go out and earn it. Right. You know, nothing comes easy. Um, whether it be having to catch a bus after school to go to a park, lift weights in the rain sometimes, sure. you know, doing things like that, not having time to watch film. It, it, it gets difficult sometimes, but administration at Champagnat is amazing. Whatever whatever we need, they, they, they're they there. And then the coaching staff, it's phenomenal. I think I have the two best coordinators down here, right. period. Wilkie Perez and, you know, my brother, you know, Daniel Clavijo. You go back and look at the numbers, nobody scores on us in the playoffs, realistically. Yeah. We haven't punted this entire playoffs. <laughs> I think we've given up six first downs in two games. And then offensively, I mean... That's what, 77 points, 79 points in two games. Amazing. We're going to throw so much at you, you know, and, and Coach Wookie does a phenomenal job of game planning. Yeah, I mean, I have no complaints from, from that aspect. And it lets me be a head coach, you know, where all I got to worry about is special teams, calling timeouts, and, and just tweaking and, and letting them know what I'm seeing. I'm just blessed to have two guys that I can trust to do those things. Coach, again, congratulations on everything that's come your way. And Champignac Catholic, it's a, one of the elite programs now in South Florida. When you get to the state multiple times uh, in a row, that's something special.